What's up guys? It's your boy Beck FTM just making a quick video from my car. I'm on a lunch break from work and I just thought I would touch base with all of you and check in with you guys. See how you guys were doing. Uh, everything's going well. Um, I found work. I work full time as a senior financial analyst for a financial solutions company that does uh, debt settlement, helps people out with their um, unsecured debts, their credit cards and things like that. I've been doing it for well, over 10 years now and uh, it's my third week so uh, things are going well and I hope that they continue to go well. I wanted to make a video um, because I see so many of my brothers out there, uh, you know, posting things on their Facebook and whatnot about, you know, girls or guys, whatever your preference is, doing you wrong, uh, you know, doing you dirty, you don't know where to turn. Some of you are pre-T, you're worried about transitioning because you don't know if anyone is going to... Uh, you know, want to date you and everything because you're trans. And I'm here to tell you to worry not. Uh, you know, you just have to continue on being yourself every day because there is somebody out there that is going to love you for it. I believe strongly that God put someone on this earth for each and every one of us. Some of you are, are maybe looking in the wrong places. You know, there's that saying that if you're looking, you're not going to find it. I don't really believe that. I mean, you do have to put yourself out there. That's what it takes. And it's going to take, you know, several bad apples before you find that diamond in the rough. So just stay positive. Um, some of you guys like to be stealth. You meet someone, you don't tell them that you're trans, and then you're hitting a, a point where you have to come out to them. There's no right or wrong way to do that. You just got to do it, uh, you know, and if that person is open-minded and they really like you or love you for you, then they're going to be there for the long haul. If they're not there for the long haul, deuces, you know what I mean? Um, there's too many people out there for you guys to be, for you guys to be messing around with people breaking your hearts. Uh, you carry on with your transitions because... It's about you. It's not about anybody else. For you people out there who are dating people that are not supportive of your transitions and your, your pre-T and everything, you know, um, I hope that your relationships can last throughout your transition. You may want to rethink about the relationship that you have because at some point, the individual that you're dating may not be okay with that. And again, it's about you. It is a selfish time. It is okay to be selfish. Um, talk to your partners about it. See how they feel. See if they're willing to go to you know, therapy with you. See where they're at in their minds. Be patient, just like with your families. You know, when you're coming out, uh, be very patient. It takes people longer than others, and some people don't come around ever. You have to be willing to accept that, but you have to be happy, all right? Um, as for myself, I am single. Uh, you guys have seen my visit with Brandon Tina video, and um, the woman in that video was my ex-girlfriend. She's now my bestie. So we're very fortunate that that relationship, relationship took a turn for a positive note. Um, but I am single. Uh, am I wanting to date anybody right now? I mean, I'm not looking to, to get into a long-term relationship at the moment, but I can't put a time frame on love. You just can't. When it comes along, it comes along. But I am taking my time, that's for sure. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I'm talking to someone. I'm getting to know them. Uh, it's going to take a while. It takes a long time to get to know someone, and I'm not trying to rush into anything. But I happen to find someone um, on a chat, and... Um, She's very supportive of my uh, transition, so that's good. Um, the way I date, really, is online dating. I don't do clubs, bar scene, and things like that because I don't just walk up to people. I, I still go to LGBT establishments because that's where I feel comfortable. I'll go with, uh, you know, my sister to a heterosexual place. 
uh, if a female were to walk up to me or whatever, because I'm pretty shy in, in person. I mean, I just won't, hey, you want me to buy you a drink? I, I don't do that. But, uh, you know, if it, if it came up, you know, I would chill with the girl for the night at the club, hang out, have a good time. But before we met a second time, if we exchanged numbers, I would have to let her know what my situation is. Uh, she's cool with it or she's not. Oh, well. <laughs> um, but I just, I don't want to see my brothers getting heartbroken, thinking that no one, no one out there is going to love them uh, because of their transitions, because that is just so far from the truth. I know that you guys are having, or some of you guys are having a hard time finding women. Um, you know, there are online dating services if you feel comfortable doing that. There is, you know, OkCupid, which is free. Uh, there is PlentyOfFish.com, which, I mean, it's hit or miss to find someone who's actually looking for a relationship on there. They're usually looking for, like, flings and stuff, and I'm not really about that, so, you know, I keep it moving. But uh, um, I'm on Downlink. Downlink is kind of like Facebook. Uh, the majority of... The Downlink members are um, African American, uh, Latina. Uh, there are some Italians on there. You know, I, I don't use it for for the personals. I use it for the chat room. I have seen some other trans buddies in there pop in, so we talk, and that's cool. Um, but I just want you guys to know to keep your heads up and to do this transition for you. Keep pressing on with your transitions. You will find someone. Don't stop looking. Don't look too hard. But know that if you continue to be you, there's going to be somebody out there that is a match for you. So just wanted to come at you guys with a quick video. I have to go back into work, so I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much.